Now the moment of true and power on the device, see what's gonna happen. Hello and welcome everyone to Variety Stick and we back again for another video. In today's video I will share my experience buying PS3 for only 26 US dollar from Goodwill. Now maybe a lot of you know who's Goodwill but if you don't know Goodwill non-profit organization receive donation and they actually sell the good stuff online. You have to do some uh, bidding, you have to go to the auction and try to bid. The higher bid then you can uh, buy the product if you put the higher uh, price. Now I have received this PS3 for $27 and there is actually some uh, handling uh, shipping fees. Let me go ahead and explain that to you. So the PlayStation uh, 3 cost me $26 uh, and they have tax $2.17 and then I have paid shipping $10.44. Uh, they have option to pick up from the store but uh, Technically, this is way far away for, from where I live, so I have decided that I want to do the shipping. And then they have handling. Uh, it came to $40.61. In my opinion, this is a heck of a deal if this PlayStation 3 Slim in a good shape and if it works or not. Now, another thing also I want to explain to you, and you guys can see everything on the screen, so that way... Here is the actual pictures that they posted on the website and you guys can see it has some wares and there's dust and some scratches. So you guys are not going to expect to get the best product. Sometimes you do, it all depends uh, what you are buying. So this is the PS3. This is actually came with two controllers and came with the console itself. And they have a picture here also shows it's turned on. Now if we go to the item information, they're saying here the condition is decent. No visible damage, not tested. This is the common thing actually when you buy anything from them, they're going to say is untested. But anyways, uh, we're going to do the unboxing. Look how the do the packaging it seems to me the box is actually very clean very nice packaging it, it took about one week to came to my door which is good in my opinion and they have these stickers says uh, fragile which is uh, good packaging but we're gonna find out more uh, we're gonna open it and then we're gonna make a test we're gonna try to see if this ps3 works or not based on this i would recommend to buy from goodwill or not so without any further ado Let's find out. And now let's get straight to the unboxing. Let me grab my knife. And here is the box. So let's get it open. There you go. Right, so let's see if I can show you how it's packed there you go so we have actually uh, bubble wraps I can see that we have this so it seems to me very good packaging over here so first thing I believe they got the controllers right here packed so let's get it open and see how they look like So first of all, so this is, uh, let me see what is this actually, oh here you go, this is the first controller, this is the uh, DualShock 3, I mean actually there is so much uh, dust, maybe from here you guys can see, but I will take a close up pictures and show you, there is so many dust kind of stick a little bit but it looks like it's in a good shape so we get also the USB cable comes with it. it looks good actually just need clean so this is the first controller it seems to me in a good shape just a little bit of cleaning and it should be fine so let's set this on the side and jump to the power cable so this is the power cable it looks good also should comes with another controller and this is another dual shock. Uh, the axis is kind of a little bit loose here but uh, it's clean actually, clicky. This uh, binds over here uh, in a better shape than the other one. 
it's clean. We have to actually make a test to see if it works or not. And this is technically everything in this bag. Let's see what else we have right here. I think we have the console itself. There you go. And let me throw this box away. And also I want to show you how it's wrapped in this bubble wrap. Actually it's very good. So they've taken care of the the shipping part. So uh, we look we have a problem. It didn't have the HDMI cable, which is not a big deal for me. I do have a lot of them. So it's not a big deal. Still gonna test it out. So okay, let's crack this open. And this is the most important thing, the PS3 Slim console. Hope it works and everything because I own uh, in the past PS2, I currently have PS5 and I want to collect all these, especially old consoles. So I want to make sure I have them and in good shape. Okay, absolutely so much dust, but it looks from here, let me see, oh my gosh, there's so much dust, but that's not a big deal, I can actually clean it up, but the console itself doesn't even show any scratches, so let me see if you guys can see it right here, the console absolutely in good shape, I'm so surprised, for $26, I can't beat that for sure, let me throw this away. From here now we do have a lot of dust right here but it looks overall in good condition this is the slim model after that I believe a PS3 came with super slim which it looks ugly kind of like this one and the fat edition and by the way if you guys uh, like to see more videos like this I have ordered a lot of console I want to share my experience doing unboxing and test this product out. So you make sure to subscribe if you haven't, if you want to watch all these uh, videos here on Variety Stick. This is a new series. I'm going to continue with the cell phones. In addition to this, we're going to also review consoles and probably do a little bit gaming uh, on the channel. So the PS3 looks in a great shape, in my opinion. It looks good. I mean, uh, I was surprised. I thought right here there's just only like a few scratches, but if we clean it up, I think we are good to go. Later on, I will clean it, but for right now, I'm gonna make a test the way the, the PS3, right now, I'm not gonna change anything. Seems to me it looks good. Hopefully, uh, we, get, we get it to work. Let's go ahead and test this PS3. Now the moment of true, I have the console connected to the power, also I connected to my screen, also I connected the USB for the controller, and also I do have some titles over here. If you guys uh, want to see these uh, games, I have uh, GTA 5 and Metal Gear Solid 4, so we're going to put these on the test just to see if it works or not. But before, let me go ahead and power on the device, see what's going to happen. Uh, it looks like it turned on. That is actually a good indicator. And there you go, guys. It seems to me this PS3 is working. I'm so happy uh, as right now because I didn't pay so much for this uh, PS3 and it seems to me working fine. There you go. All right, so let me go ahead and turn the... Uh, controller and see if I can have it to work there you go it is working so let me go ahead and try to put a disc just to make sure it's gonna work with no problems it has taken the uh, the disc let's see if read the disc or not looks like yes it's reading the disc and playing the game so this is actually a great news for me it's taking time but it looks like uh, this actually 
should be working so let me see I just want to make sure that it's reading uh, the disc and play the games Now it asked me to install the game. Looks like everything is good. So it's gonna do some installation and then I should be able to play this game. So let me see if I can cancel this and jump to another game. Now let's go ahead and try GTA. That even the disk drive sounds good. And it's reading the game so let's go ahead and try to play this game it might be actually do some downloading but it seemed to me this PS3 slim that I got for $27 or $26 from Goodwill actually in a great shape and that was very much it for that video thank you so much everyone for watching and staying till the end of the video if you guys want me to make more videos like this in the future let me know leave a comment in the description box as well as you can smash the like button that tells me you guys like this content and i will do more videos like this i have already ordered more console from goodwill i'm about also to make more videos in the future so make sure to subscribe to variety stick in order not to miss miss it thank you so much again i will talk to you in the next video